welcome to 10 years of Vodafone Healthline. Yes, 10 years of transforming lives, restoring hope, and equipping you with the right medical information that enables you to enjoy a long, healthy life. Now, to enjoy this moment, we have included two new segments in this season, This Week in Medicine and Jewels in Our Kitchen. Obviously, we can't leave you without your heart racing, so fitness is right here with you. To celebrate this significant time with me, we are joined by able doctors, Abba Falsen and Kweku Mayali, aka Dr. KK. Together, for the next 12 weeks, we'll be unraveling medical mysteries and busting some myths. This show is brought to you by Vodafone. Further, together. Be part of the extraordinary world of endless possibilities on Vodafone. With the best value and amazing data offers and services available in Ghana, your dreams are achievable. Get more for less with Vodafone Data. Vodafone. Further together. Very soon you will meet our new fitness coach, Ifia Berfi, who will give you tips on how to stay fit and sleek. It's been 10 years since Vodafone Healthline has been performing life-saving surgeries and bringing together the most sought-after medical specialists in an ambitious effort to bridge the gaps in our health system. Let's take a look at this all-inspiring journey as it touched so many lives across the country. In 2011, Vodafone Ghana took a bold initiative to address gaps in healthcare delivery, focusing on access to information with the TV show Vodafone Healthline. The objective of the show was to educate Ghanaians on pertinent health-related issues and encouraging healthy lifestyle practices among the population. Healthline is dedicated to bringing you the best health information. It's a chance for you to join me, Kokui, and our panel of doctors as we tackle questions that we received from you. The 13-episode television program provided a platform for the most sought-after medical specialists in various fields to educate viewers on key health issues, giving the general public a rare opportunity to expand their knowledge and understanding of common illnesses and how to prevent them. As part of the show, Vodafone unearthed the stories of people from deprived communities across the country and supported them fully by sponsoring the cost of treatment, including life-saving surgeries. An offshoot of the show has been the innovative Vodafone Medical Call Center, a telehealth service which provides timely medical advice to Ghanaians with just a phone call. So you, you want to know what are some of the signs and symptoms that would tell you you have hypertension? We have calls from all over the nation, most especially about diseases like hypertension, diabetes, questions about malaria, questions about our reproductive health. For the Reducing the long queues and stress people go through to receive medical service. This intervention became extremely timely at the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic, providing expert advice on safety measures and helping to dispel myths and misinformation about the virus. And some also call believing that they have COVID-19. So we'll do what we call a risk stratification to determine whether indeed they are high risk, moderate risk or low risk. 
What better way to celebrate 10 years of Vodafone Healthline than sharing in the warm smiles of the hundreds of beneficiaries whose lives have been transformed, watching them take their first steps towards restoration. A healthy life filled with hope. Vodafone, further together. Honestly speaking, it was so inspiring to watch and the amount of money that must have gone into that, effort that had gone into that, and the faith it gave so many people that you don't need to know somebody to knock on such a door, to have such a help. It's, for me, <laughs> tops it all. So, if you think about the reward for doing something, this is like a classic example of yeah. doing something yeah. and getting a reward, not necessarily monetary, Reward. I'm glad you said that. Yes. No people think of money when you say rewards. No, they be <laughs> well, you know the joy yeah. that what you've done has yeah. transformed yeah. a life. Mm. You know, made it better mm. for the long term. Mm. I think that it's one of the best things that, that yeah. could and, happen. And I'm not sure which of you has been in a situation where you feel absolutely helpless. Mm. You know, wow. in a situation where you just feel like you've hit it. There's no way for you yeah. to, you know, maneuver, come out. Yeah. Chede, with mm. which your back is against the wall. And mm. mm. um, when you get to this position, sometimes it may just be an advice or a ray of hope that someone gives you that chance. So for these people, for these families, for over the years, I mean, 10 various seasons, you know, going through it. Mm. If we're doing even 10 families per season. We're, wow. we're talking about a hundred yeah, families. Each index case is about three or four people Pe per at least, family. Yes, at least. So a hundred, that's 400 people that yeah. have been positively impacted. Yeah. Now, this, this goes beyond exactly. the family. Yeah, it, exactly. It goes yeah. to the it's community. Yeah. <laughs> then, yeah. you know, it's, I mean, it's, it's, it's it's not just reaching. about the money it's mm. about the thoughts to continue mm. something like this mm. you know i think that's um mm. it's commendable i mean yeah. to say the least yeah. it's really yeah. commendable there's this bad thing that people say that Ghanaians don't know how to have maintenance culture mm -hmm. but vodafone health has proved everybody <laughs> wrong exactly 10 years exactly. of maintenance exactly and improvement and improvement <laughs> exactly like it's it's mind-blowing it's exciting and i can't wait for the next decade next decade what will i do Still looking fresh. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back. So we have an interesting one for our myth today. I can't wait for you to see because I, as a nutritionist, have my own take on it. Let's see. <laughs> how many bars of chocolate you must you consume eat. <laughs> but honestly speaking I, I i i'm not medical i'm nutrition i'm food but <laughs> i do not think that it would necessarily instantaneously do anything like that i know that chocolate um cocoa as it is when it's fermented and before it's processed into chocolate or any of the slightly bitter ones that we know it's actually packed packed with nutrition and one of the things that stands out for me is the magnesium mm -hmm. magnesium has been linked also to testosterone for mm -hmm. the men mm -hmm. you know is linked to bone health is linked to so many things including curbing cravings so i'm wondering if he's trying to curb a craving or not if you curb a craving at this position at this material so he can focus they ah. do but the craving is for um what's he craving for that's the, the question. craving is for um <laughs> <laughs> something else different food uh, uh -huh. but, but so medically if you kept that craving at that time it's a problem well, true. <laughs> but but medically is is it like when you what's an aphrodisiac let's uh, let's explain that before people think that i'm killing it before you start ah uh, okay so well, the aphrodisiacs are stuff that we take into they say to enhance sexual pleasure or to enhance arousal so it's just an enhancer 
Okay. You know, so technically that's the definition. There are a lot of natural things that have been thought to have aphrodisiac okay. so effect. I know a few. Uh -huh. I'm sure I'll leave that for you to elaborate on. <laughs> but chocolate has really been put out there yeah. as an aphrodisiac. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if I'm going to be one of those who's going to push its aphrodisiac effects. As a cardiologist, I know what I'm going to be pushing for. The anti-sugar effect. Uh-huh. And all those um, anti-cholesterol yes. effects. Because it has a lot of saturated fats. What are you saying? What are you saying? Anti-sugar and anti-cholesterol. What are you saying? What are you saying? What are you Chocolate for anti-cholesterol. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Yeah. But but I think that there's a lot of history. I mean, mm. you had Casanova. Mm -hmm. So he's the one who was making a lot of noise about the aphrodisiac effect mm. of this. A lot of people have, have benefited from it, they say. Mm. But it contains certain chemicals, truthfully, mm. which help to release other chemicals mm. in the body, mm. which are good for the general well-being, Being. keeps you calm, yeah. and more likely to respond yeah. exactly. to the need arise. Mm. So you know, yes. you are calm, you are happy. Mm. Exactly. You know, you know, you know, so um, just, it works well mm -hmm. that way. Just to, just to appear scholastic, you know. As I'm Go you. My, as I'm wearing my white coat. <laughs> <laughs> you see, Abba says uh, it contains certain chemicals. Yes. You know, we have phenylethylamide, quercetin. Mm -hmm. You see, these ones have been known to, you know, um, yes, one more. Oh, serotonin. serotonin. I think. Oh, serotonin. I'm in mean, kind of me free there, you <laughs> So you see, these ones have been known to, when they are, like she says, they help release, when they are degraded, they yes. create chemicals, you know, yes. and then feel good. You know, some people talk about the texture, how the chocolate feels yes. in your mouth. Yes. Uh -huh. So um, to say that if you eat chocolate, you will perform well. Instantaneously. Is where I have a challenge with. Um, you know, over time. I'm not sure. Yeah. Even with that one, I think that if the woman had eaten the chocolate, it would have been better. Because uh -huh. the man there, once he's true called, of us. once he's true called, of us. you know what I mean. <laughs> once he's called to the bar, he will dump it. <laughs> but for the woman, you know. Being called to the bar is the problem. I am, no, but you see, if you are being called to the bar, and you are already at the bar, <laughs> you have won the cloth. But most people who take aphrodisiacs cannot get to the bar. That's oh. why they take them, right? Mm. Um, no, some people, no. So you see, aphrodisiacs, so, so Abba says, mm. um, sp um, offended, arousal. desire, arousal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. These ones is what the aphrodisiacs do strong. But there's a third part that's some, mm -hmm. you know, doesn't talk about potency. Mm -hmm. Now, that's a we're story. not going strongly to potency when mm -hmm. we're talking about, you're talking mm -hmm. more of, you know, so just the desire. Feeling, with the feeling, you know, okay. to do or not like to do. Like what they call libido, right? Yeah, yes. Now, that's what man, yeah, to do is always to do. <laughs> what is not to do? Uh, if not cannot to do, do, then that's what the problem is. If cannot is. do, then... Um, <laughs> then it will do. <laughs> it will do. Thank you very much. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs>
what is the history behind Grace and Vodafone Healthline? Yeah, that was uh, 2010 mm -hmm. when she went to school and uh, we were called that she's having a swelling at the right wrist. How old was she then? She was four years. Four. Yes. Okay. So quickly I have to rush to the school because I bathed her this that morning. And it wasn't there. Yes. Okay. So and I went and it was surprising that mm. that's well. And so mm -hmm. we're trying to send her to a private hospital, but we were advised that we should rather send her to government, government. hospital. Okay. And the my general hospital is not far because we live in Ashama. Okay. We went and they look at the whole thing and they said is they don't understand what it is. It's going so on, okay. They would rather like to refer us to Kolebu uh, Teaching Hospital. Okay. So we went to the pediatric. They also work on it, and they don't know actually what it is. Okay. So we were referred to pediatric to orthopedic. Orthopedic. Okay. That we met Mr. Uh, Doctor Segwefia, oh. and he said that he would like his men to do something. The okay. semen. Mm. They took the semen and they sent it, and it was about six weeks mm. when they came with the result that it was rhabdomyosarcoma. Oh, a cancer. Yes. Wow. It happened almost immediately yes almost all of a sudden for you exactly but how did you come across vodafone healthline yeah, how did so, vodafone healthline come in yeah, at that it, moment or later we went one time to tv3 mm -hmm. to do some they were trying to look for help mm -hmm. then i think one of the vodafone people saw her so okay. even they traced her to tv3 okay and our number were given and Aww. they get in touch with us that's good great so after 12 years, how does it make you feel Vodafone being in your life all this while and having made such a great change? Because your father said he almost gave up. Yes. How does that make you feel? I feel happy that my parents supported me in my condition and also Vodafone coming in to help me. It's just by God's grace and mm -hmm. I'm happy. Just like your name. Yes. And as cute as you are. Yes. Oh, Daddy, thank you so much. What do you have to say to Vodafone Healthline? Oh, we are so grateful. I would say that Vodafone was our savior at that moment. Mm. And we are so grateful mm. and I'm, I'm so thankful to Vodafone mm. for what they have done and make our hype. We were back to our normal life. Yeah. And I'm so grateful and so thankful. So it's Vodafone Healthline and they've, they've done many things for many people. And it's nice to hear your story. Yours is just one of hundreds. And what can we say to Vodafone? Are you cool? We'll meet our second beneficiary. Bro, Mike, as I always call you, you know, yeah. I know you're a footballer. And your history actually starts, your history of Vodafone Healthline starts with football. Exactly. Can you tell us a bit more? Um, actually, I met Vodafone through an injury. Okay. Yeah, I think I had seven hospital. Okay. Yeah, that's how I met Vodafone. So, um, what injury was it that a Vodafone knee, Healthline came in to help yeah, you? Yeah, actually, it was a knee injury. Okay. Yeah, I was kicked under my feet and my thing, the bone under my knee cracked. You were kicked under your feet? Under my the feet. The person yeah. had what? Metal souls. No, but you know, very aggressive. He was oh. trying to get the ball for me, and I was avoiding him. So, so in football, and it's not even it was a friendly play. Uh, yeah, friendly play exactly. Wow, that must have been aggressive, and yeah. it actually cracked a bone in yeah, your knee. Yeah, under my knee. Yeah, and it partially and it torn a little bit of the meniscus. So, how did Vodafone Healthline come into the picture when you if are third seven? If I, I keep on saying it's from God because. When I got to the physical department of Ted Seven, mm -hmm. spoke to a doctor about my injury. Yes. And he gave me the bill. Ooh. Yeah. So I was like, it was I can't big. Tell. I want to go home and think about it. Oh. The next time he just called me that it's a team of Vodafone want to meet you. Wow. And I said, from where I said Vodafone to find. So that's how we met. And when they came in, how did they support you um, in terms of treatment? In fact, very massive. Wow. For my transportation, my food. And actually when they started, I didn't believe them. <laughs> Yeah, but the first time I got a receipt from ultrasound clinic yeah. at East Legon. Yeah. That was the first scan, the MRI scan. Yeah. yeah after that, they referred me to Kolebu mm -hmm. to meet Dr. Agbeho. Mm -hmm. I think he charges about 9,000. No. Yeah, I also got that receipt and I was like, wow, this wow. is real. <laughs> this, this is so real. real. <laughs> and after that, they took me to, uh, they gave me a lunch at Afkiko. Oh. In fact. They filled your belly and made your spirit happy. My healing started very quickly. I can imagine that. <laughs> I can imagine that. So it, something that seemed like a scam in your brain became a reality. Yeah. And then you're able to use your, your leg now. Very, very well. I couldn't bend my knees as I'm sitting now. We before, can see that. Yeah. As a, if, I, if you come and pick me at my home and, you know, give me your front seat, I'll not sit down. Oh, wow. You're going to stretch my legs. Oh. I can't bend the knee. But, but now, now I can't can bend, bend them. And, yeah. Are you playing, still playing football? Yeah, I'm playing, but clubless for now. 
you no know, challenge. Yeah. But the fact that you can still play. Exactly. Now that is good. Very happy about How that. long was this therapy for? Was it a I year? Think, yeah, year. I think 12 years now. It's been 12 years. Yes, but, but after the surgery, mm -hmm. it, uh, I was still having some little complications. Yes. I mean, some little swords. Of course. So I yeah. kept on managing my exercises. Indeed. That was why I recovered fully from it. That's good. Yeah. I'm glad that you kept up with it because most of the time, physiotherapy is up to us. Exactly. We have to keep up with it and keep up with the exercises. Very then, true. then we become nimble. You see, I'm doing this. <laughs> Those who watch the other season know that bone issue I also exactly. have. Exactly. Uh, it's, it's amazing to see that what we have to say to Vodafone and those who actually sometimes still believe that Vodafone Healthline is all about it's a scam or who you know or something. Like, just like you said, you didn't know anybody. Yeah, yeah. People, people keep on asking that question. Mm. That can you connect me to the helpers? So it said, wasn't you, that. I said, Vodafone, trust me. It's a sent from heaven program. Mm -hmm. Yes, because I don't know how I met them. I keep yeah. on asking myself. Yeah. So I think Vodafone is a trustworthy network and I think it's keep the good work up. Mm. To keep it up, trust me. And I can't stop using that sim. My family and I are always enjoying that sim. Vodafone Healthline. Yeah. Thank you very much. It's been amazing talking to you. Thank you, um, I call him Brian Mike, okay? <laughs> Thank you. But he is Michael Akloto. Exactly. And if you're an Akloto, you're actually, actually from one ancestor. He told me it's been <laughs> fun and we are enjoying ourselves. Yeah. And we are so grateful to Vodafone Healthline because honestly, it is God sent. Exactly. We'll be right back. Extraordinary world of endless possibilities on Vodafone. With the best value and amazing data offers and services available in Ghana, your dreams are achievable. Get more for less with Vodafone Data. Vodafone. Further together. Uh, we take care of ourselves and ask God to protect ourselves and our families from any accidents. But accidents can happen. And when they do, what do we do? Because Matis say, say, see, teach you car accidents, no, no, it's in a one shiny year. And your accident is a bit of a Now, what I want to do is to and I'm going to go to the house and ask where did them. To understand what to do, we have our very own specialist, Dr. Agri Olins from 37 Military Hospital to teach us an idea of a giant what we can do to save ourselves, to help our friends, and even be a good Samaritan. Doc, welcome to Wonderful Health Thank you, thank you. I hope I said it right, yes. right? It is true. Yes. Mishandling can cause problems. Certainly, certainly. And um, there are so many efforts by a lot of uh, stakeholders to prevent accidents. Mm. And um, accidents will happen. We can reduce the incidents, mm -hmm. but accidents will happen. And when they do, we as ordinary citizens need to know what to do. Sure. And uh, doing the right thing at the right time could save a life. So it's a chain and we have to make sure we are not the weakest link in that chain. Mm. From when the accident happens till a qualified doctor sees the casualty. For the, for, the, for the sake of understanding what you meant by a chain, can you briefly tell us the the big parts the of big the parts, chain and the right. critical points of right. that chain so from the time an incident happens mm -hmm. a road traffic accident happens yes. two cars collide or a car collides into something or some assaults right. or some assaults yes <laughs> that can happen yeah. right casualties they're both injured mm -hmm. now they are first responders those who go there to okay. see so the first group of those or the first group who respond to the casualties play a role those who would communicate Okay. Asking for help uh -huh. to play a role. Uh -huh. The hospitals or the ambulance system that would come in and pick the casualties play a role. Okay. Then the hospital where the final treatment would happen also plays a role. Talking about okay. ambulances, these yes. days, 
you know, you have good Samaritans that actually put accident victims in their cars. Yes. So they also play a role. Yes, they do. They do. And that's a transport part of uh, the whole chain. Mm. So um, if we had enough ambulances, then we could, as we could safely wait for an ambulance to pick up casualties. But mm. we don't. Mm. So there will come a time, or often, uh, good Samaritans need to use their personal vehicles or taxis or other commercial vehicles to transport patients. Mm. It's not the best, okay. but uh, this is what we have now. Okay. So we need to know a few safe practices. Mm. So till we have a system where we have enough ambulances, we can safely transport casualties from the site of the accident uh, to uh, the emergency room or to the hospital. So talking about safe me safety measures and yes, what we can yes, do, yes, yes. can you show us a few, please? Yes, certainly. And then, um, so this is our approach to it. We think first of safety, mm -hmm. then we think of communication, mm -hmm. then we think of something called the triage. Mm. When there are a number of casualties, you see to the one who is most injured first, mm. right? Then you do your first aid, mm. apply your first aid, which will involve you having your skill mm -hmm. and having the right equipment. Mm. They go together, know what to do and have the right equipment. Okay. Then the third part for this discussion would be transporting the patient to, to the, the hospital. hospital okay so these are the four areas okay so i would then demonstrate yes, okay. <laughs> all right so i'll just put this here all right okay all right uh, so we join the shirt just out of all being said Okay, now at a day now, Shane, a tap a tiny be an answer, the Behawa. Now, where we lose you on San because a Juma Coyano, a Moja Huajuma. Eh, the Eberheno, the Samoa, Moja, dear Ham, my dream, Pacan, Munuani. Now, Musa Munas near Yeno. Because Doctor Ned, you're so a chain, pa, sister, no prior, Miss Samoa, a kind of make up for ina or my yard, dear, no, Mamma, and I look real, but and yet, 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 over to you. Okay, right. So the first thing is safety. Make sure the environment is safe. No fire, no live wires, uh, no weapons around. Then the second thing is to protect yourself. So I've got my first aid kit here. I'm going to put on my face mask. Smart one cast will make sure sell one cast and one ball who buy ye. And son, I walk of war will be. It was a dog or shiny face marks. To protect all who walk of war will be. So this goes on. Then you have a pair of gloves. But your gloves, no, you know, who do you think or so a chronic one? Why have my chronocracy? In the SRM, I'm moving a pair of gloves and share and share a inumo. First aid kit box. All right. So like I mentioned earlier, you need to triage. So in this instance, I would assume this is the most severely injured person and I'll start to uh, see to her. So we'll break it down to the bare minimum. So first of all, you need to reassure the patient. So, madam, are you okay? Okay, good, I'll try and help you. Why are you injured? Okay, so now she's injured on the leg, on the arm and on the scalp. So I would ask her to apply a bit of pressure here. Then I'll first see to the wound on the head. Why the head first? Right, because the scalp bleeds a lot. Okay. Right. And then the approach is to first start with the head, the body, before you go to the limbs. Okay. okay. Head, body, limbs. Yes. Okay. Yes. So this is a simple rule of thumb we can follow. Right. The doctor Pachani said, Oh, this will be a prayer. And I'm going to do the way pra. I'm going to do the way pra. I'm going to start the way pra. I'm going to start the way pra. I'm going to start the way pra. I'm going to do 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 the Right, so make sure you don't cover the eyes and you don't cover the ears. Doc, right. we saw that you put you put something on the wound before. Yes. Yeah, gauze and I are cutting wound. Yeah, gauze. Gauze to apply a bit of pressure. Okay. 
Now, if you run out of gauze, you can use anything, okay? A piece of cloth. Yes, it may not be clean, okay. but our focus now is to prevent bleeding that could lead to death. Doc, say, I did be Maybe I more than Okay, now over here we can see a wound and then we assume there's a fracture. So the important thing to do is to prevent the uh, excessive movement of the limb. So you can improvise. I have a pre-made splint here, but you can use anything at all, any rigid object to immobilize the leg. And we need to stop the bleeding and keep the legs still. So that's what I'm doing now. Inti doc say because we're proud and nine inti no. On one a case I'm shut up first, but on one a nine maybe on a nine don't pay no bu. And on no who here say on my don't pay no bu and to us so inti no. Obe to me the bbi support nine 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 is straight. No 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 bbi or day yawa ha. But we will chroma na bbi ne see a dua kwa bbi a straight flatter. Obe to me the a nine nine two so on a maso boko so no ye no. Now we dey chalk it and nine one we say wa wa yama aka. You can say, we foot in our womb, where they treat them, but papa will move on chemi. After all the bandage, you know, air to trade, sana, nino, a movie, swan, and say, yes, stiff. Because the movie, you may not open the boa, a big cosweb bunk, it's in case I forbear hospital, not nino, I say, yes, here, chat to chin, into a saw way idea way, pan, I know in a book, or one kind will say, who say, or sad the idea to crown so, answer na all church, no, yeah, tina, the same thing, all ye. Or the fan nine who you know, son and nine a movie. Into it, you hear gossip, pal dog. Yes, you hear. You hear. But your dog, we away no, so you so safety pin be and found so be beamu, and I saw a blast of your baby now, dear, and a yam. Ah, Dabby, sir. So usually, at the accident scene, with all the with the haste and all the rush and all the chaos you may find it very hard to uh, do all these fine movements. So you can tie the bandage. If you've got the plaster, use it. But remember, this is happening on the scene. And uh, there'll be a lot of chaos and all. So uh, we want to work as fast as possible. So if you can tie it, go ahead and tie it. If you've got the safety pin, go ahead and use the safety pin. And if you've got some plaster, please go ahead and use it. If you have more bandage, yes, go ahead and apply. Okay. okay. Then now I'll see to the wound on the upper limb. Doc, so my friend, Sunny dear, no, but you can find nine who say, be busan, is any bio, eh, me who sell, or new soup, pin, be and found so bandage, no, and I be. I'm not seeing, I didn't know, corner, the natural sand, for frim sano. If you are not any pin, won't you? If you are plaster crowd, into so much much a trouble, more than a bop or a cra, sana, bandage, and I watch a chin, and Sunny, nine and nineteen, and there we are no end say. Into a siano, some or yer baconano, or side the ghost for us out to Sano so. Anna or Chichere, nothing, no, what about Pono, come So the focus here is to prevent bleeding, which could lead to death. Moja ne Unipa Corner, and the Ebomo didn't say, and Cosway and Uno, because a Moja de a son, and then one who knew, into no, and who he has a better chicken, come on. Near the pressure, Cacrato, so. Right, and the last part is hmm. to immobilize the upper limb, and we have a triangular splint or sling okay. over here. So this is what we do, we stand in front of the casualty, then the tip of the sling goes to the elbow of the injured arm. I put the arm over it. I tie this over. Then you can tie it behind the casualty. Doc, so this a triangular area. To me, the do could be here now. Yes, you can use a scarf, you can use a piece of cloth. Is it important to, for it to be a triangle? So you have to yes, shape it into a triangle before yes, you use it? Yes, easier. Okay. Alternatively, if he's in a shirt, then you could open a few buttons and tuck the hand in. Okay. Okay. Yes. Into the doctor say, we will do blue, not the year and now. Once I do need a triangle, that that. Aha, but the old one to mana and I do now one and yet triangle, sir. Who to me 
bubo mani ya se triangle no because mani ya easy o ya o mbre pi na o tun dia she nsa no se no o ye no e de chire won nsa no sa be pe pe a de ntin ya ye ne sa sa na nsa no e no su su e mu via bia na no su no dompe no e buka kra ana se e kro no su su be ha na adwen ya no ay ne sa ba o se se bia woni bi na nipa ko ne she shirt de out me bie buttons ne kakra na wa mani nsa no de she mboko de wi ya ne se nsa no e ntutu nko left ne right na e mu vi mu vi rough rough right so as I mentioned earlier, we are not sure of how much blood she's lost. Mm -hmm. So it's always good to keep the casualty lying down and if possible, uh, to elevate the legs. Okay, so if we have uh, maybe a small, anything at all that could lift up the legs a bit, then blood flow to the head will be improved, mm -hmm. if possible. Okay. Doctor say, because of more January, a new Nipakronu, wouldn't you much a crack? Do do I saw you? I bet Sinko. In Tinka Bay, I'll be a big a crabby, not who's no ma, sister, now you see. Nanka one money pack on an answer, a crabby, bones a more jan bedia for sunny ye. Now, if you are in the Suchini, San Yamaniano, a beba form. So, before doing this, remember to always call for help. Answer our best at it. Answer our best at it. Always call for help. I was working alone, it was a bit clumsy, but I can imagine if I had someone to work with. Then would have been easier and faster, po. and faster. Do aku yin in pabua adentia. Right now, as part of our uh, assessment, we need to expose uh, the limbs okay. to see if there's another injury. Okay. And then, once we are not sure of uh, what we would say, her hemodynamic stability, that means uh, how much blood is lost. Okay. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. Then it's always good to make sure that clothing is loose, mm. and then we elevate the foot. Okay. Yes. Um, 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 into no more modia, na obi bet me a boa my name boa na mo ho nya ha. And lastly, remember to reassure the patient. Okay. Okay. So help will come soon. Okay. Just relax. If there's anything, let us know. Okay. Doc, se no wa cro cro the a boa no no. Oni na kasa boko menti anti no. Oya no si aji ya mesro menti ani pi. Eya. Why? Eya. O se mo cro cro ne kache ne se o enche. Ka na ma friend ano obi ba mo de nebe ko hospital onya botre. I read it there. Oh, ni paho. Oh, I read it there. Oh, ni paho. The doctor change the P. Hey, hey, see ya, dear. We change this on barrel. Why are you? Doctor, yeah, that's it. Any take-home message for us? Right. Um. Yes. The last point is that when you encounter an accident scene, remember that you don't need to know everything about the casualty before you bring them to the hospital. Often you hear people saying that. Uh, Oh, there are these casualties. I don't know them. I don't know anything about them. What am I going to tell the doctors mm -hmm. when I come to the hospital? Mm -hmm. We don't need that information. Okay. If we have that information, it helps us. But without that, we have a protocol of assessing an injured patient and giving them the needed care. Okay. So once you are in an accident, you encounter an accident scene. If you can, assist with the first aid assist with the transport mm. assist with calling for help mm. you don't need to know the incident that happened you don't need to know the person or the casualty involved mm. okay okay doc say the last message or the man is say you who so be a pranas and this year my in stroke what train yeah yeah and who soon here say beyond me back on the fire by and i said medical history be on sana wabwano there be and we answer what protect us and not change yeah now about what the neighbor hospital so i mean so be all about one way jaw or honey because so so do about hospital doctor bus and someone to me yeah no and yes sir doctor for name don't be young machine for chrono and we have some people who need to answer who need to know now my am why you honey who not gonna lose it very very productive people in in because of accidents right okay Okay. Oh, Doctor Agbi Edasi. Yes. Okay, yo, Miss Medasi. I hope so. 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 I 
Pharmacy Subet mini akwenya sronko aye nije ye power vodafone so ye di data bundle sa eni seso organa ha bro ye mo da ye so ye ni da so nyi na bem enti baka ye ho nya data mo ni je power bebre vodafone further together My name is Efia Befi, and I'll be your fitness coach this season. Now, I only take five minutes of your time. In this five minutes, I have a simple rule, which is do not stop when you get tired. Instead, go at your own pace, but make sure you finish with me. On today's episode, we'll be doing a full body workout focusing on our whole body area, including our cardio exercise team. If you can't jump, just do this. One, two, three, four, five. Now the work exercise is we are taking our elbow to our knee. So this, this. As you take your elbow to your knee, make sure that you twist your obliques. So like this. So five, four, three, two, one. To the next leg, same area. One. Two, three, four, five. You can take a 10 second breather while she concentrate on the next workout. So the next workout, we'll be doing the jumping jacks. Now to do the jab, you're just jabbing to the side. So that's how you do it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten. This time we are taking it over our heads. So one, two, three, four, five. Now we're going to do our last workout. Now you stand straight, bend forward a little, and then you take your hands back. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, three more, eight, nine, ten. That'll be all today. I hope you enjoyed this episode. See you again another time. Welcome to this all new exciting segment this week in medicine. Today, we talk about surgeons who operated on themselves. We often hear about surgeons going beyond their skill and above to perform life-saving surgeries on their patients. In these cases, however, 
We have brilliant and radical surgeons who performed self-surgeries. Well, to remove their own appendices in the first instance. Dr. Ivan O'Neill Kane was the first. He was an American physician who served as a chief of surgery at the Kane Summit Hospital in Kane, Pennsylvania. He performed the self-appendicectomy in 1921 under local anesthesia, sitting on the operating table, propped up by pillows, and with the nurse holding his head forward so he could see he calmly cut into his abdomen, layer by layer, securing hemostasis and worked his way deep into his abdomen to identify his appendix. After taking out the appendix, he allowed his assistants, which included his brother, Tom L. Kane, to close the wound. He left the hospital the next day and is reported to have performed a hernia repair on himself. Unfortunately, he died three months after that. Worthy of note is Leonid Rokuzov, a 27-year-old Soviet Union surgeon who performed a self-appendicectomy in 1961 during an expedition in the Antarctica. After this surgery, Leonid lived till 2000 when he died. This is encouraging. Well, and that's me here, can you can doctor say what you said, you have surgeons. Ah, and no one you said you know what you do. Operationing, why are one cassa wardo? Na eina chede a ye surgeon call war America on your king on no ye first one. I often as often appendix and nankasa or shay or ye the ma or ye na appendix and oh you know manunia. I know your doctor or two kunum man. In fact, I do the next day nano or kufi na or sign ye bium on your henia henia nankasa so be ye. Nanksa ye hen your operation in now on the three months cheddar on your complications now three months after one a we na young boy be papi you know it is sixty years oh yeah on your chain but young boy no no it's twenty seven years no wo in the memo friend Russia um no co expeditions I wo wo I de um in the memo kuba kade the national service and baby dam ah okay okay no moon no nya appendix a young boy, 27 year old, Nanka Sobo Mazu in appendix and ah, or you're not a in good health till the year 2000. Ah, on cherry and son, oh, in tea, say the 27 years, sir. And now, Faba, there are many things you could do. Keep your mind at it, keep working hard, and you'll be fine. This is all we have for this week in medicine. Welcome to one of our new segments, Jewels in the Kitchen. With me, Firma, obviously. And uh, I'm going to kitchen I'm to Now, for this season, I'll be focusing on a few foods or ingredients. You're taking it for granted. You're taking it for granted. You're taking it for anti-inflammatory. You're taking it anti-oxidant. But it be antimicrobial, antibacterial, sometimes antifungal. Anti anti ni chesesin, e chese e kutsiya bibi. E ma unya apomodin. Anti inflammatory ni chese, e bi ana krobose kutuwa, we diye wwa, unhua, like on your skin. Utumi di bibi toso, na jojo. But se kutuwa inside wabe ene den. Utumi ko miya, utumi fe drone toso wa inside. Men nyo ni nyobi wo nyo ni biya ye diya, ane edi kan ye diya ne huwa. E bwa ma de no, Ya on the form, any of an anti inflammatory. Just to make us a yanny way anti inflammatory. Now, just a warm yaw crow inside. What's the antioxidant? A chest a man yin che, a mapo mudin, a man who din. What's the antimicrobial? Be a nature says, I gem see a my area be brino, a mom unity costro, a yana be the mom unity a costro. In time, I said, trust ye say ya kume be. Then, next episode, no, a starting yan and ankasa and kasa. Ava. <laughs> Where's no me can't declare me to be so so so? Huh? That's been in here. Why are they? That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Not brown chin. I'm pamina. Me na namtana na. Oh right, 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 right. I guess that. But episode way, episode one, a bie yani on how amazing it is to have an angel, 
I would love to call both of my helpline an angel <laughs> because truly, you no know, media be many. I give me so much hope. People now just go to the website, they register their problems and all that. So it's an intervention that is timely. Was timely then, is still timely, and will forever be timely. Yes. Because mm -hmm. people always need that hope. Yes. But what did you pick up this this episode? What 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 stood out for you? I think that again, you see, you can never overemphasize timely help that is impactful. So this is a young man who wants to, who plays professional football mm. and has become injured, mm. has had his livelihood, his dream shattered yeah. because of an injury, probably through no fault of his, yeah. you know, in the line of duty. And then you get somebody who is able to help you have a fighting chance mm. to get back at this. Mm. And then you have a young girl. You know, when we talk about a sarcoma, it's not a small thing. No, but for so in San Anahuka, the kind of growth that doesn't stay there and moves to other parts of the body mm. and can lead to the patient's demise. Wow. If not dealt with uh, in a timely manner. Wow. So if you get somebody who comes in and At that offers that exact time. Exactly. And then takes care of you see, we're dealing with Adenevi. Mm. But who person will deal with say be a be a movie across certain parts That's of the body. Yeah. You need other forms of mm. therapy. And those are expensive. Yeah. Very, very expensive. expensive. Very expensive. So if you get somebody coming in to take it up, well, what can we say? Thank are you. you cool? <laughs> and you? <laughs> um so for me, um, I, I really want to touch on um, our first respondents mm. when we have um, a road traffic accident. Yeah. You know, um, Dr. Orleans did a good job to, you know, demonstrate, you know, you know. And it's very important. Uh, many a times um, we see people have accidents and some drive past, mm. you know, and like Dr. Abba says, timely intervention. intervention. Yeah. Sometimes he said, the person is bleeding out and all of that, raise a leg. So it's, 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 it's a matter of time. If you don't give that help early, person bleeds out. If the person got into the hospital just 30 minutes earlier, sometimes that'll be enough to save, save their, their life. life. So let's do our best to help. While you're doing it, be gentle about it. Be compassionate about it. If you follow gentle compassion, you're likely to get through. Mm. Be careful to control the neck. We are not sure what's happening. Mm. Don't move the neck. No mm. abrupt movement. Mm. Don't try to force them into the vehicle. You know. <laughs> so you're both. Take your time and be compassionate. And then, uh, you met me. Chocolate. That's a media. Chocolate. Because chocolate is you good. Okay. Like we established. It helps with feel good. It tastes nice. Puts you in the mood. But if you have a problem with your libido or your erectile functioning or anything mm, we'll talk. see someone mm -hmm. talk to someone mm -hmm. you know don't rely on chocolate if you buy chocolate for your wife she'll be happy and i'm sure that uh, you will get some you will get some <laughs> <laughs> and indeed we'll continue to get some and More. we'll be seeing you next episode it's been amazing and i'm still laughing i can't help you you'll get some, you'll get some. <laughs> indeed see you soon Bye for now. Vodafone, further together.